Are you already willing and able to receive those wonderful Sophie Tucker stories? You see, all good things come to those who wait, and that's the truth. All right, I don't know where to begin. For those of you who've never seen us work before and you don't have any idea why I would pick Sophie Tucker, I love her. I just think she was great. She liked, uh, she, was, she died real late in life. She had a wonderful time. She was on the boards 50 years. And up until the day she died, she liked the, her stories off color and she liked her songs blue. And that's how I like them too. <laughs> and I carry upon, I carry on the tradition, you know what I mean? Oh, I see you do, oh God. Oh, I see the drugs have begun to take effect. <laughs> so nice for you, dear. So glad you didn't get a bad batch this time. <laughs> Although maybe you did. Where shall I begin? I'll never forget it. It was the end of World War One. My boyfriend Ernie, Lucky Ernie, World War One, flying ace, came home from that very same war. Ah, what a war it was. He took me up to his apartment. He stripped me naked. He threw me upon the bed. He poured Quantro upon my privates. And he set fire to my groin. I was not amused. I said to him, Ernie, Lucky Ernie, what the hell is going on? And he said to me, when Lucky Ernie goes down, he goes down in flames. That's what he said. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. You know, I was listening to the radio the other day with my boyfriend, Ernie. We were listening to Father Grace, the great faith healer. And Father Grace said, well, now it is time for us to heal our bodies and our minds. Put one hand upon the radio and the other hand upon that part of your body you wish to heal. Well, I put one hand upon the radio and the other hand upon my heart. My boyfriend, Ernie, put one hand upon the radio and the other hand upon his appendage. I said to him, Ernie, he's only trying to heal the sick. He's not trying to raise the dead. <laughs> You know, I got to tell you this, my girlfriend, Clementine, I was hanging up the wash just the other day, minding my own business, and my girlfriend, Clementine, came up to me and said, So, how is it that you know just when to hang out your wash? You never get stuck in the rain like I do. I said to her, Clementine, this is what I do. When it, I got confused. I said to my girlfriend, Clementine, I said, darling, when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is I roll over and I look at my boyfriend, Ernie. If it's laying on the left-hand side, I know it's going to be a sunny day. If it's laying on the right, I know it's going to rain. Well, says Clementine, what if it's sticking straight up in the middle? I said to her, Clementine, who the hell wants to do wash on a day like that anyway? Oh yeah, Clementine is such a card, she really is. She said to me just the other day, she said, So, so what do you get when you cross a donkey with an onion? I said to her, I haven't got the vaguest idea, Clementine. Tell me, tell me do. <laughs> well, she said, most of the time you get an onion with very long ears, but occasionally you get a piece of ass that is so wonderful, it makes you want to cry. <laughs> boyfriend Ernie you know I was with him just the other day I said to him darling darling kiss me where it smells um so he took me to Anaheim <laughs> all right let's see where else, where else can we take you let's see I'll never forget it uh, Although I would try mighty hard if I had the chance. Uh, I'll never forget it. Uh, it was in honor of my 80th birthday, my boyfriend Ernie gave to me a cemetery plot, can you imagine? So macabre, don't you think? Uh, upon that plot he put a tombstone, and upon that tombstone he had inscribed, Here lies soap, cold as usual. <laughs> well, I was gonna get even if... Oh, God, my feet hurt. God, my feet hurt. Yeah, Charles Jordan, you know. Charlie Jordan's, honey, a sweet man who hates women. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I tell you. Let's go on. Let's just sing, Mark. Huh? Don't talk to me here. I'm working. <laughs> Darling, wake her up. It's so rude.
so hard. It really is rough. What are you looking at? Oh, God, it's my last night here in La 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 La. That's just how I feel there. No, that's not true. Oh, that's not true. I want to tell you one last Sophie Tucker joke and then I'll be on my way. I this one has seen some, this one has seen some wear and tear. You didn't even hear the punchline of that other joke and you don't even care. You just don't care. No, I'm not gonna. Oh, well, all right. Okay. Huh? Well, I'm worried about this girl over here. We must get the pacemaker immediately. God, I'm nervous. It makes me so nervous. It's hard. Don't you look at her. Give her a private moment. To see her in Lee Strasberg's class now. Yes, I know what to work on. screaming at me like that. And you with the camera. God, what kind of a camera do they call it? That's real interesting. What is that? That's a what? A which kind of reflex? Pseudo reflex? Aren't you the guy that was here for the first show? Oh. Yeah, I thought I hated you the first show. And now I'm sure I hate you. I didn't recognize you because you had the camera in front of your face. But I could smell you all the way over here. Oh. Crowd turns on the diva. But the diva doesn't give a shit. Well, it's confusing you. You, know, you stand up here, you think it's going to be your night to howl. And here you have 152 cameras and some junkie nodding out. Some guy at the back door wants to get in. Let me in. You know, I mean, it's uh, so confusing, God. I can barely remember my name. What is my name, anyway? Miss Mildew, thank you for reminding me. I knew that she was there somewhere. I gotta tell you this joke. I have it on my mind to finish this damn joke. I'll never forget it. It was in honor of my 80th birthday. My boyfriend, Ernie, bought for me a cemetery plot. Upon that plot, he put a tombstone, and upon that tombstone he had inscribed, here lies so cold as usual. Well, I went out and I bought for Ernie a cemetery plot. Upon that plot I put a tombstone. And upon that tombstone I had inscribed, here lies Ernie, stiff at last. minutes of 10 minutes of extreme nervous breakdown <laughs> god i guess she got nervous for me huh got a little nervous for me guys so i saw the fangs coming out right there she is lying coiled the beast within uh i i, I it's up and down you know it's, it's nerve-wracking but oh you didn't pay money to hear that let me tell you this joke let me tell you one more sophie tucker joke this is the best one of the lot this is the most famous this joke has traveled far and wide i'm so proud of this joke I was in bed last night with my boyfriend, Ernie. And he said to me, so, you got no tits on a tight box. Well, I said to him, Ernie, You folks sure know how to treat a girl. You do. I tell you the joke and you just tell me the punchline right back. Great. God, I wish I had some more like that. That's so wonderful.